What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are gonna be going over the, obviously we know the new cards coming in NBA 2K22, my team, we're gonna be talking about the market and how it's gonna be affected by these new packs. So, we know, we know the new cards are Pink Diamond Lamello, and Lamello's a 95, so he's probably the lowest overall of the Pink Diamonds. So we know it's Pink Diamond Lamello, Galaxy Opal, Ja, Galaxy Opal, Yanis, Galaxy Opal, um, 80. So we potentially could have the best point guard in the game. If they give Lamelo quicker shift, he's probably the best point guard in the game. We possibly have the best point guard in the game, a top five point guard, the best center, slash power forward, and the best power forward, slash small forward. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be a crazy old day. Tomorrow's really gonna be a crazy all day. I wanna see how many people have put up their juicy Giannis cards. Again, I don't see Giannis getting more than like a 77 three ball. I'm just putting it out there. I don't see him getting more than that. I was about to say, which three do I have? And it's like, oh yeah, I don't have. I can get Billy. Billy, Billy for 35 isn't even that bad. Um, But yeah, so let's take a look at the 2010 set. This set, like, this set has already got four got, or three Galaxy Opals. It's gonna get another Galaxy Opal tomorrow. And it's got some of the most expensive pink times in the game. I'm just saying, this set is, Giannis is down to 162K. Oh crap, no one's even bidding on their Giannis cards anymore. I wanna see how you put up their Giannis cards. So the Giannis announcement has been an hour. Um, holy crap! <laughs> Everyone, oh my God, there's like four Giannis cards ending in a minute. I wouldn't be surprised if one of these Giannis cards not the 14 half one, but like one of these six half pad chance cards ends up going for 100. Oh my god. <laughs> there are more Yanis cards put up in the 10 minutes after uh, the new one was announced and there were in three hours before it. That's nuts. Oh my god. So many people are putting up their Yanis cards for sale. Holy crap, lads. The amount of like badged up Yanis cards that are on the market. Oh lads, this is why, this is why you just hoard. This is why you hoard MT. You see, I could have lost all my MT buying cards. I got all this MT from my LeBron James, but you better believe I could buy that juice LeBron James right now and tomorrow's Yanis probably for the amount of MT that I got from holding for a month. But um, yeah, so obviously Yanis has gone down. I think LeBron pro has to have gone down. Because I know a lot of people did run LeBron instead of Giannis. I don't think KD is going to go down because KD is a different type of player. I think a lot of people do run LeBron as like a more shooting alternative to Giannis. So I just want to see how many LeBrons. Um, not really. Not really. So it does. the only card people seem to be panic selling with these. He's like, with point guards, no one's really going to panic sell their point guards. Because Penny's going to be cheaper or is a lower tier than... Um, then Lamelo. So I don't think anyone's gonna be panic selling their pennies yet. Anyway, people might start panic selling their pennies later on, and um, once we find out the stats. But as of right now, the only player that's really tanking in price pre-pack launch is Giannis Antetokounmpo. He is completely tanking that pink diamond. So anyway, now we're gonna be talking about what I think is gonna happen to the market. So my prediction is, is that these packs are gonna be one of those packs with lock-ins, but it's gonna be so expensive because of three Galaxy Opals that only the um, only the guys that are putting in thousands and thousands of dollars into the game are gonna have the means to, um, to lock in. So we're gonna see, well, people will lock in again, but it's gonna be the people that put in thousands, thousands of dollars. But at the end of the day, like, um, I don't understand why people are so angry that others put in thousands and thousands of dollars into the game. Like, like at the end of the day, I don't do it. I don't spend money. I don't advise anyone to spend money. But like, it's a hobby. Spend whatever you want. Like, like I've as like there are worse hob there are worse hobbies to be spending your money on. I mean, there are some worse hobbies. Oh, there are a lot of worse hobbies. There are, I would say there are a lot of worse hobbies you can be spending your money on than, uh, than uh, 2K. But uh, yeah, so I think in general, because I assume there's going to be a lock-in, I think we see 
a lot of rubies kind of tank in price because if we somehow see a ruby point guard that compares to a Marcus Smart, he could drop. Um, I'm trying to think, are there any, there's no other really expensive rubies. Like normally every year there used to be a couple of expensive rubies and now rubies are only expensive because of rarity. Um, in terms of amethyst, there aren't any expensive amethysts anymore. So I think we're going to see again a really, really cheap set of amethyst. Diamonds. I think certain diamonds, again, if we got a really good, like, two guard that's a diamond that can, like, three hunt this stuff, we might see Clay Thompson starting to drop in price that diamond. You know, a lot, I've heard a lot of people that got some steals, that have got some absolute steals on uh, Diamond Clay. It's mad. I bought him on Christmas for 100 and I thought he was a steal. Sold him on, like, three days later for 150k for Clay Thompson. My flash might be done for the year as well. But like Clay, Clay has been as low as 40k. And now he's up at like 60k. So I think if we end up seeing like a shooter, we could see him dropping back down to his 40. But I don't, I really don't know when it comes to Clay Thompson what the story is going to be. But other than that, there aren't any really expensive diamonds. Are there in the game? Outside of Clay and Clay's, Clay, I think Clay's an exception. So I see Diamond minimum buy at like 30k. Like guys that aren't expensive because of rarity. Like it's clay, it's penny. It's hard, hardens less than 30. I wouldn't be that, oh, I wouldn't be that surprised to see a pink diamond hardened throw. I don't think we do, but I wouldn't be that surprised. Um, I have a feeling we, I have a weird feeling we got like diamond Dolph Shays. But like you were looking at these diamonds, like none of these guys are that expensive. Like Bob Mackey is pretty, Bob Mackey's a 28K. Like he's not expensive at all. Um. Iggy, Ibaka. I think Ibaka is just going to be a poor man's Anthony Davis when it's all said and done, but like, none of these guys are going to drop significant amount of price because they're all really freaking cheap. Cards are so, uh, are so, so, um, cheap right now, just in general. In terms of pink diamonds, because I think the pink diamonds in this set might be some of the cheapest pink diamonds in the game. Because the last time we had New Year's Resolution sets, um, the pink diamonds were super cheap. I don't think Lamelo is going to be super cheap, by the way. And whatever, what always happens in sets when there is a really expensive player in a tier, it means the other guys in that tier are going to be really cheap. So, for example, if Lamelo Ball is really, really expensive, then we're going to see... Um, if Lamelo Ball is really expensive, sorry, we're going to see... Um, the other two pink diamonds in the set being very, very cheap, just because that's the way, I mean, the market normally works. Um, because it's very rare we see more than one pink diamond being cheap is the reason why, because why Rudy Gay was so cheap for his time. Um, obviously, he was like 70k. Um, but at that time, 70k was the second cheapest pink diamond in the game. Because he was 70k while the price fixing was happening at 70k, so he was literally price fix value. So he was the minimum price for a pink diamond. And the whole thing was that Rudy Gay was that he was probably the best, second best card in that entire set. And the reason why Rudy Gay was so cheap was because, and Blake Griffin, those were the two cheapest pink diamonds in the game at Christmas. Um, it was because of Kawhi Leonard being so expensive at that tier. He was like 250k. And if something, I think Lamelo Ball might be that card. He might be the quietest set. And if Lamelo ends up being really expensive, it's going to mean the other pink diamonds are going to be really, really cheap. So like if we remember... Obviously, it's a little bit different here. And forget pink diamond here, but remember the diamonds. AK was really expensive. So Alonzo Mourning and Jet Terry were super, super cheap. When we went to Amethyst, or when we went to Rubies, LeBron was really expensive. So Rose and Westbrook were really cheap at that time. Just things, little things like that um, are stuff you're going to notice. So I think the market is going to just take a small hit. I think everything pretty much is gonna just hit regular depreciation. Like we all know as time goes on, cards are gonna drop in price. Like cards sometimes go more expensive because of rarity and it's all based on supply and demand. 2K are doing a good job of making Tuesday packs, essentially super packs with promo in the super packs. So for that reason, it's not a case of what we used to do in previous years and we would hoard onto old cards. And then when old cards would get rarer and rarer and rarer, they would spike them in value. That no longer happens because pretty much every card is being put re-put back into packs every Tuesday is essentially a new super pack with a promo. So yeah, um, I think we see the likes of Donovan Mitchell dropping quite a bit in price because Ja 
I think Jao, when it's all said and done, is going to be better than um, Donovan. I think it's, it'll be close, but I think Jao's probably going to be better than Donovan Mitchell. So you see Donovan Mitchell's already at like 320k. He's dropping a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised to see Donovan Mitchell closer to like the 260k tomorrow. Especially because I just predict Jad be really good. Jad's not good. Scrap it. I'm wrong. But I do predict Jad be really good. So there are only a couple of cards that I think are going to be massively affected tonight. And I think once tomorrow comes, we're going to have a full, full kind of like sight of what the set's going to be like. Because if they have no good budget cards, we could see like the pink diamond or sorry, the like amethyst and diamonds go up in price. The other cards... But if they do have really good budget cards, you're going to see a lot of like Amethyst Diamonds drop 3 or 4k. They're not going to drop an insane amount, but they're just going to have their normal depreciation. Like, as I said, cards aren't going up anymore. There's no price fixing bots. There's no Dikembe Mutombo being the best center in the game for two damn months. Um, the cards that are coming out today, mostly, are going to be outclassed by cards that come out in six weeks. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm not outclassed. They're going to be completely outdated in six weeks. They're going to be outclassed by cards in two weeks. And this is the period of my team where we go from six Hall of Fame badges in... And we went from like six to nine Hall of Fame badges through four weeks ago to four weeks from now. We're probably going to see... Um, well, Gary will be there. We're probably going to see 40 half badge cards four weeks from now. So we went from four weeks ago like six, seven, eight half badges, four weeks from now, 40 half badges. This is the period of my team where cards just get better and better and better and better and better. So we just got to be aware that that is happening. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.